Hello, Sayan Chatterjee. Welcome to your PDA. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, very warm welcome to you also. Uh, I got the opportunity to speak to you in a very big platform, and it's a great opportunity for me also. So, Thank you. So my name is Sayan Chatterjee, and uh, I have done my schooling here in Frank Anthony Public School, Dupont Street, for 14 years. Then I have done my B.Tech in West Bengal University Technology, that is. Uh, in Salt Lake, basically, for 2017 to 2021 in BTEC Electrical Engineering with honors. And then uh, I gave GATE on 2022. And then I, with my GATE score 587, I applied to different IITs and uh, also for MS research. But uh, unluckily, I didn't uh, got to some of the interviews. And uh, also, I have uh, applied for MTech, but the regular courses for my core electrical branches was actually for 750 and 700 plus. So I couldn't get under general category. I think if I had an S certificate, I would have got it. But actually I didn't got. But uh, then I sat in CCMT. Then uh, in uh, CCMT, I, in first round, I got this institute. And my course is basically sensor and IoT, basically sensor technology. And uh, it is, comes under applied physics department. And uh, it is basically dealing with instrumentation and sensor. So basically, it can be the core course for any instrumentation engineer. And uh, this course is also for regular MTech two years. But uh, our institute has one facility that uh, we can do our MTech thesis in other institutes if we want after our course was completed in first year. Right? Like I am also been selected in IIT Kanpur right now for my project MTech thesis in uh, next year. So after discussing with my guide, I'll be going there for my MTech thesis, where I facilitate one guy from my institute and one advisor from IIT Kanpur, where I will be working with him in electrical engineering department only. So this facility my institute has, and uh, funded by DRDO, we are studying with DRDO scientists and all the Thai services and Navy officers are our classmates and best right? And this is all our institute. And our institute recently has also, uh, earlier it didn't have placement, but now it has got pretty good placement. Uh, students are getting very decent packages in it from every department. So this uh, Defense Institute of Advanced Technology is having placements also now? Yes. Oh. And uh, there are basically a number of departments here, like Applied Physics, which has basically LEOC, OCP, and Sensor Technology IoT code. Then we have electronics department where VLSI embedded, defense electronics, and then the signal and data. All the, these four specializations are being taught. So for VLSI, it is known by some people, I think, that uh, one year is in BIT and one year is in collaboration with Neelet Calicut, where there is a very good placement. And many of the students get placed in CADE and Synopsis, uh, all the electronic chip, Intel. Intel even had taken students from DIT without even interview. Oh, that their friends of DIT students have done really well in their R and D, oh. and uh, package is average fifteen plus okay. from uh, all over. Like Agni Kool has recently visited, and uh, some of the students and some of seniors have been placed on twelve to thirteen plus LPA. Fine. So the course what you selected that is sensors and IoT. What is the scope of this course uh, in India or uh, abroad? Huh. As you said, so basically, from uh, heart, electrical engineering is dealing with electrical machines and power system, power electronics. So after uh, choosing this course, I found everything related to instrumentation and some physics. So uh, sensors and IoT. Basically, when we were studying sensors, we go there's a very broad domain of MEMS-based sensors, which is a very good PhD research area. Basically, if uh, someone wants to do PhD. I had an opportunity of uh, doing PhD in some of the old IITs, but uh, I didn't want to do in India because once done in India, you cannot again apply abroad. So I didn't thought of giving GATE again and uh, wasting my one year and uh, just uh, targeting IIT again and again because age also becomes a factor then. So uh, I joined this institute and uh, in sensor, basically MEMS based sensors and uh, basically uh, we are learning FPGA, that is uh, real hardware we are dealing. These are also now part of sensor. In our school uh, institute, we are studying this. And um, like uh, in many of the top institutes that are in the world, I, if I talk about top 50, so MEMS, sensor, 
even uh, direct sensors instrumentations or even the uh, is a thing that is now a direct research area or indirect research area in almost uh, every foreign university if someone is applying uh, in any foreign university who has mtech in sensor so and it is an iot is also an uh, emerging field as iot is you know, making everything smart today so if anyone has done some one or two research paper and has a good cgpa decent then he or she can easily get some opportunity in us for doing his phd oh that's great fine so this is sensor because uh, until i write some research or uh, read some research paper i cannot say what is exact but uh, there are many research areas related to sensor and electrical department in many foreign universities in us even in uk where we can pursue or even uh, by having mtech in sensors we can pursue any uh, like we can switch like in integrated circuit system if someone is doing phd in integrated circuit system or even vlsi is also directly integrated to sensors because it is now used everywhere where uh, in sensors like how the ic is fabricated and how the mem in mems like uh, how the sensors are being made what is the physics behind that and uh, what the way uh, electronic chips are being made we are learning in this course and also some of the process like uh, analog circuits where we have some sort of signal conditioning how sensors can be used for signal conditioning and all these things so these are all things that are also part of electronics and basically uh, we are learning how we can deal with this sensor uh, circuits how if i have uh, in my first year designed one electro signal conditioning circuit uh, which using arduino microcontroller and uh, which can detect any change in frequency for a ready made sensor that was developed in our lab so it was a quite a great opportunity to do that Good. and uh, many of the software we have learned like we have learned vhdl uh, and all the very log and all these things lilings rivado which are the some of the targeting uh, important software that we should know in our masters okay so diat is uh... having any special feature feature than any other iit sir it is any special special feature of uh, diit if someone wants to get different stack or if someone wants to be a researcher or do his phd then he can join he or she can join DIAT. but if someone is running behind placement like he wants 20 plus then uh, he can join a new iit is a old nit is if he has moderate get score but uh, branding wise this is a uh, indian institute tag and this is defense tag so nothing more is there because okay. uh, he or she will be sitting and eating with an dear scientist and uh, the rest is all the same and in masters uh, one thing is that every professors are very busy so everyone has to study on his own so that is one issue but uh, everything is fine here even some of the old iit is having that facility which did has even this institute oh, also have a dear old okay. even one of some of the students who has gone to iit delhi our senior they are saying the iit delhi is having the same lab facility and same lab equipment with iit has oh. certainly in the applied physics department so funding comes directly from drdo so that why there is no issue okay so uh, one student happily can choose diit for his uh, masters right ha huh. any uh, phd facility is also there at diit uh, Yes, PhD. many students are doing PhD, PhD. here, but PhD. Uh, I would advise that uh, PhD in India, even in uh, old IIT, has no value because if someone has opportunity somehow to go to abroad, even anywhere in part of the world to do his PhD, that will be better. Because after master, the kind of research that is being done here is good, but uh, there is a lot of politics and uh, all these things that uh, are not there in other part of the world. so if someone wants to make a bad career he should pursue his career abroad uh because uh, this is what i personally felt rest is up to the student so purely based on gate score they selected you or any other interview or examination it was uh, purely based on uh, ccmt counseling and gate score gate score that's all no interview no examination nothing hmm. earlier they, they were when they were not in ccmt then they then we had to say, send them some uh, our mark sheet and get score to post and then they used to shortlist students and call them for interview and uh, so if you want to select in the interview then a student was selected and nowadays they directly selecting to ccmt okay. and even in low get score like someone is having 400 get score 450 get score he can also get any course in the iit 
no wait wait so for uh, some comp- for some branches like diit without uh, interview or without any uh, uh, campus placement uh, campus interview they are uh, taking for placements uh, as you said uh, some companies like hmm. intel intel like right. some people without interview right yes intel has taken VLSI. some of the various students without interview almost there were 12 students in vlsi and almost seven uh, were placed in intel oh, with the 15 16 class package no that's great thanks so for they are not doing internship now they are doing internship they are doing later internship. they will be absorbed okay thanks uh, thanks for giving this valuable information and uh, i hope uh, this information will be useful to the candidates uh, who are going to apply for diit yeah thank you once again uh, sayan chatterjee thank you